Ever opened up an invoice from your cloud provider and been surprised by what's inside? Well, then this video is for you. Today, we're talking about managing your cloud costs by exporting billing data into your data warehouse and analyzing it with Looker. So let's jump in. Managing your billing inside of the cloud can be a difficult task. Most cloud providers employ a pay for what you use model, which means that if you're closely monitoring usage across services, you can definitely save on technology costs. But if you don't have centralized billing reporting and have low visibility into your cloud spend, unwanted or unknown spending can really start to add up. Additionally, each cloud provider has their own billing methodology, their own suite of SKUs and services, and their own way of reporting that information back to you. This means that as a member of the FinOps team, you might spend hours manually centralizing, reconciling, and harmonizing billing across services and providers each month. All to ask a simple question like, what did our marketing teams cost us in cloud infrastructure last quarter? Well, don't worry, because today we're going to walk through how you can leverage Looker's cloud cost management solution to not only control costs for your organization, but also reduce waste and predictably forecast both costs and resource needs. So what makes Looker so great to solve this problem? Well, Looker is a business intelligence platform that sits directly on top of your data warehouse giving business users self-service access to explore governed data. This is all powered by Looker's modeling layer, LookML. With LookML, analysts can define a single source of truth for metrics used across your organization. And Looker goes beyond traditional BI, offering integrations to deliver data when and where you need it. When it comes to cost management, Looker offers real-time insights into cloud spend and usage so that cloud users across teams or cost centers can better understand and take action to manage their infrastructure spend. So let's go ahead and dig into the details of the solution. This solution was purposely designed to be implemented in phases so that you can start to get value immediately and then further customize it based on your initial findings. So the first phase includes access to Looker blocks or pre-built LookML models and dashboards that can be installed in just a few clicks from the marketplace on your Looker instance. In fact, we've created three different blocks, one for each major cloud provider so that you can pick and choose which you want to leverage depending on what providers you use. In this phase, the billing data for each provider stays inside of that cloud. So you connect Looker to Amazon Web Services billing data that has been exported into Athena, Azure billing data into Azure SQL Warehouse, and Google Cloud billing data into BigQuery. Additionally, this block uses Looker's ability to merge query results from different data warehouses to create a unified dashboard showing you spend across all three clouds. So now you might be wondering, what do these blocks actually do for me? Let's take a deeper look at how a FinOps team might use phase one of the cloud cost management solution. In phase one, you're given access to a set of dashboards for each cloud. For example, here you can see dashboards for Google. Let's start with a summary view where you can see at a high level where your organization is spending on GCP. From here, you can drill into specific projects or products like Compute Engine, where we seem to be spending a lot. Google Cloud also offers tactical recommendations for limiting cost. For example, here we can see that if we stop this idle VM, we can save close to $900. To directly implement this change, we can simply click here to go directly to that page in the Google Cloud console. Also in phase one, 
you get access to a simple dashboard that shows you spend across all of these clouds using Looker's merged results feature. Here, you can get an idea for how spend compares across providers. With phase one, you jumpstart your cloud cost management with out of the box reporting. And if you're only heavily using one cloud, it might be suitable for your longer term needs. But there are some limitations to this approach, primarily because of the data that's siloed in provider specific data warehouses. In phase two, companies work with Looker and partners to centralize data in BigQuery so that all cloud billing information is stored in a central location. Phase two allows you to ask deeper questions of your data because billing SKUs and services are harmonized across providers. So instead of looking at macro trends like total spend for each provider, you can drill in to see specifics. For example, if you're spending more on machine learning, specifically on Google, Amazon, or Microsoft, so let's take a look. In phase two, we go beyond the original multi-cloud report. Because data from each cloud is centralized into a single data warehouse, you're able to compare spend across specific services and SKUs, like we're showing here. For example, we can focus on spend for compute across all three providers. Centralizing your cloud billing data into BigQuery unlocks even more cost-saving opportunities. But in the last phase, we take things one step further by mapping tags, labels, and cost center information across each of the clouds. Additionally, we introduce automatic data actions and BigQuery machine learning forecasting models to empower you to be proactive about spending decisions and take direct action from within the tool. Let's see how that empowers users to further optimize spend. With phase three, you're given much more power to act on cost insights. Now, with cost center mappings customized for your organization, you can do things like leverage machine learning models to estimate future spend for specific business areas. So instead of needing to manually create invoices in Excel, Looker will send a document with each line item to the appropriate director on your behalf. Awesome. So now you should have an understanding of how Looker gives FinOps teams the ability to save money and reduce waste for cloud infrastructure. Through this phased approach, you can start optimizing right away and then continue to customize and integrate insights to further support your organization. Ready to get started? Check out the links below.